what's up guys um, welcome back to another video in this video I'll be covering the uh, the plane cut tool and in my previous videos I covered uh, the tools like the polygon pen a brush magnet and so on so if you want to see those videos just you know go on my channel and then take a look but anyway in this video I'll be covering the plane cut uh, tool. I don't really use this tool, but I'll show you why you would use it instead of, for example, using the knife tool, which I covered in my last video, or the loop tool, uh, which I will cover later in my videos. But anyway, uh, so as you can see, in your if you use your loop tool, you can get really nice cuts going, really easy, and it goes all the way through. You don't have to worry about it, you know, double checking. Uh, but sometimes when you have weird triangles in your mesh. You know, let me just add some kind of crazy cuts into the mesh. Maybe like this. And then, okay, you want to cut it with your loop tool. You go and you run You run into this problem where it's not even, you know, cutting your mesh anymore. As you can see, it keeps getting interrupted because you have a lot of errors in your mesh. Or maybe you like working with triangles and you want to keep this. Uh, so the plain cut tool really comes in handy because it ignores all the errors and it cuts your geometry anyway so as you can see i can come in and still cut even though it's you know the mesh is all kind of you know has all kinds of triangles and so on and uh, you have a few options here so right now it's cutting local and it's cutting on x and y so you can change it to y and z and you can cut it this way as you can see and also you can change it to x z and you can cut it up and down so the plane cut tool does come in handy sometimes, but you can, you know, if you keep your geometry clean, uh, the loop tool or the knife tool is the is the way to go. But if you want to use this tool, you know, it's you know it can't go wrong. There's a million ways of doing the same thing in 3D programs. Uh, so other options you have, you have cut all. You have same thing as the knife tool. You can split it. So if I cut it like this, and then you know select all my edges. And try moving them. Let me just select the faces instead. And try moving them. As you can see, you can split your geometry just like that. And uh, the shortcut, as you can see, is MJ. So MJ is the plane cut shortcut. So you have your split mode, uh, you have your cut all, and then you have remove A or remove B, which is pretty cool. Sometimes you want to get uh, you want to work with symmetry mode. You have to go into the top view and then cut your geometry from the top. But in this case, all you have to do is let me just undo all these different cuts because it's really messy right now. So what you can do is select your plane cut and then uh, do remove A and do X Y and just like this, you can cut your mesh in half and then add it to uh, the symmetry mode. Just like this, and switch it to uh, XY. And as you can see, we can get the symmetrical thing going right away. If I switch to my editing mode, we can start working, and it gets duplicated on the other side. So it's pretty cool. You know, it cuts your geometry in half, and you don't have to go to top mode and so on. Uh, let's see what else we have. So we have local, we have world, based on camera, as you can see, you can start cutting that way. Let me go back to free. Play position, you know, offset, uh, number of cuts, that's really easy. So if I do, you know, cut it like this, oh, let me switch it to cut. Cut it like this, you can start adding a uh, number of cuts. So instead of being one, it's just it's going to be three. Uh, so that you know that comes handy sometimes it just like I said it really depends on what you're doing but I usually stick with loop or a knife tool but if you want to use this tool it's it's kind of cool you know you can get some good results spacing pretty much controls the spacing in between uh, the cuts so if I go more than 20 and go back to my local and add three cuts as you can see the spacing increases or decreases uh, so that's what spacing does and uh, auto snap should always be on and let's see connect cut edges should always be on real-time cuts 
And yeah, that, that's about it, guys. There's not that many options here, uh, but it does, you know, it does come in handy. You can uh, cut using this tool, and you don't have to worry about, you know, any errors in your mesh. For some reason, it's not working, and uh, your loop cut doesn't work. You can just use the plain cut and uh, cut whatever you want. Switching between different, you know, planes x, y, z, y, and so on, and then from there you can continue modeling. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's about it for this tool. It's really easy to use. Uh, the the shortcut is MJ, and uh, uh, if it, if it was me, I would just stick to line cut or loop cut, and just try to keep your geometry clean. That way, you don't have to use the plain cut tool. But for some reason, if you do need to use it, these are the few different ways to use it, and uh, it does come in handy sometimes. Uh, but for me, I don't really, you know, use it that much. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully this video helped you. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video, and uh, I will see you in my next video, guys. Uh, have a good night or day.